Well, hello there, friends. I was in the mood for potato salad this morning. I couldn't figure out if I wanted an Italian potato salad, a French potato salad, or a German potato salad. So you know what? We do them all, friends. I know you're going to love them. They're delicious, all of them. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to ring the bell. Stay tuned, friends. We're making potato salad right now together. All right, now my French version of a potato salad. It's inspired from the south of France. We have this famous salad called the Salade Niçoise from Nice in the French Riviera. It's got uh, Niçois olives and tomatoes and eggs and green beans. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make a nice vinaigrette first, all right? First, I'm gonna put uh, a little bit of uh, a Dijon mustard, about a, a two, oh, I would say about a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And for this, you got to be Dijon mustard. Then we're going to uh, cut up uh, a couple of uh, uh, cloves of garlic. I'll cut them up a little bit so to make it easier on the, on the food processor, the mixer right there, right? And then we're going to put some uh, uh, chopped parsley. And then we're going to put some uh, uh, beautiful uh, garlic olive oil. If you don't have garlic olive oil, use a good olive oil. And we're going to put about a half a cup. And then we're going to put a, a couple of tablespoons of uh, white balsamic vinegar. Use a white vinegar, a champagne vinegar, a wine vinegar, whatever it is you have. And a little bit of salt and pepper. And we're going to make an emulsion. Really simple, huh? We're going to make an emulsion. Salt and pepper. Voila. I'm going to put just a touch more olive oil. It doesn't look like a half a cup. No, it does. Approximately. We're not really measuring here, friends. We're going to make the vinaigrette first. And you can see all of a sudden, by changing the texture, by changing, we have now emulsified. And now we're going to put lemon juice. About, a, I say, a good tablespoon of lemon juice. It's going to make a liquid enough. Mix it up really good so we don't have a big chunk of garlic in there. And then we're going to test it. And if it's got the perfect balance between the, the, the um, uh, lemon and the oil, which means it's not acid or it's not oily, then we're good to go. See? Nice and creamy, beautiful. Mmm. Delicious. You know, I could use just a little bit more lemon juice. I, I don't want to be acid. I want to be able to test the lemon, but not being acid it's really important okay if you test if it's too acid then you don't have enough oil that's it friends all right now we're going to take our vinaigrette i'm going to put about uh, about half of it for now the potatoes the potatoes friends i cooked uh, 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 potatoes, um, uh, russet potatoes, uh, and I poach them in, um, in uh, uh, cold water. Remember when you do that, I think Jack was filming me when I did that, but it goes in cold water, not hot water. Otherwise, what happened, the outside of the potato is going to be cooked before the inside, so you're going to have a mush, mashed potatoes on the outside and a raw potato inside. So cold potatoes, and do them until they, they, you can put your knife right through it, okay? And then we're going to put them in here, in the bottom of our bowl. This is, uh, I don't remember the exact amount of, uh, it was uh, four big russet potatoes, four big russet potatoes. We'll put the green beans in there. Green beans have been poached and, uh, and iced as soon as they were done, okay? Then we're going to put uh, some cherry tomatoes, you know, half cherry tomatoes, then put the tomatoes, chop it up in little pieces. That'd be perfectly fine. Uh, one of uh, uh, Jack's favorite thing to eat, uh, Niswa olives. You don't have to put Niswa olive, but uh, they're delicious. Now, be careful with the Niswa olives. When you buy them, friends, they have pits in it. So be careful, okay? So you may want to take the pits out uh, if you wanted to. We're going to put little capers. Again, uh, uh, Option. Everything is optional. 
Everything is optional. You don't like capers? You don't want capers? Then put them in. You don't need them. You don't like them? You don't want them. Right? And then, oh, a little more salt and pepper. Voila. And we're ready to go. Oh, a quick thing, for friends. Very important. When you poach the potatoes, friends, let me get uh, my tools to mix. When you poach the potatoes, I want you to put a lot of salt in the water. A lot of salt, okay, friends? It's very important you put a lot of salt because uh, uh, you'll be amazed. You know, you put just a regular amount. You don't put a regular amount. Put like two big tablespoons of salt, okay, friends? Don't be afraid to put a lot of salt. Uh, now, you could also, uh, I have hard-boiled eggs in there. You could also take the hard-boiled eggs and, um, and, and, and chop them up and put them in there. I just think you can do a nice job with the decorations of it if you put them uh, at the last minute, you can decorate your potato salad. So this is a whole different, uh, te without a mayonnaise, uh, but this reminds me very much of uh, a salad niçoise because of all the ingredients. So you can take the time to decorate the plate with some hard boiled eggs and how many you put in, it's really up to you. Depends the bowl and you have, you can put them nice, organized all the way around it some freshly chopped parsley, and easily we now are, we're gonna organize and make, make a nice and presentation, but we have ourselves the French version of a potato salad, my French version of a potato salad. Okay, friends, we are now making the German potato salad. My version now, oh, go out there, from, people I can see it, my friend in German, that's not the way we make it. So where I make it. <laughs> I got the, uh, half a pound of bacon that I'm sauteing gently right over there. I'm gonna put some red onion. I'm gonna saute them. The potatoes are, are warm. You don't have to be cold, uh, warm. Serve them cold, serve them warm, however you want them, serve them. Not a problem, friends. We have, um, you see now, now we're gonna, Cook, cook the onion in the bacon fat. I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, garlic olive oil. And I'm gonna put some uh, oh, white balsamic vinegar. Any white vinegar you wanna use, it'll be perfectly fine, friends, okay? Any, uh, any white vinegar. Wo no, 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 not the one you do the floor with in the window, please. Okay? White wine vinegar, champagne vinegar, white balsamic vinegar. That would be great. Remember, you're only as good as the product you're using, friends. <coughs> you're only using, you're only go as good as the product you're using. A little bit of olive oil. I've got to test it. This hot bacon dressing. <laughs> I made a spinach salad uh, a while ago uh, with a garlic flour and a hot bacon, uh, a hot bacon dressing <laughs> on a spinach salad. It was amazing. Mm. Jack, we should give him a link to that. So now we're gonna put a, we're gonna put just a little more vinegar because I like to create the gastric effect here, friends, of the sweet and the sour. I have a uh, two teaspoon of sugar. I have some uh, fresh parsley that I can put here. I don't need it in there. Fresh dill. So that's a two tablespoon of parsley, one tablespoon of dill and a quarter cup of uh, 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 a green onion slice. All right, that's it, friends. Really simple. And this is gonna be our dressing, warm dressing, that we're gonna put on top. So no big deal right there, friends. We're gonna mix all this up. And the potato, I use the red Nouvelle potatoes. They're low in stars, they're perfect. And we have a set, friends, a beautiful, beautiful potato salad with a hot bacon dressing. This is a gorgeous potato salad. My version. I know you're gonna like it, friends. There we go. Beautiful, look at it, that gorgeous. <laughs> Okay, now the Italian uh, potato salad. My version again. So we're gonna make a nice little vinaigrette uh, to put it in. 
Uh, and it's very simple. I got uh, Italian parsley right there. Boom. Just chopped up uh, rough Italian parsley. I got some uh, uh, Sicilian lemon uh, balsamic vinegar. And uh, it's, uh, this vinegar is ca it's kind of sweet, so I got some lemon juice I'm going to put in also. And I got some uh, Arica lemon olive oil. Use a good olive oil, yeah? And we're going to make a simple vinaigrette. That's about a half a cup of, uh, of the oil for about a couple of tablespoons of the vinegar. Uh, uh, again, it's up to you, up to you guys. You're going to have to, uh, to manage it. Um, oh, you know what I forgot? I got a clove of garlic in there. I got it right there. I, I said, don't forget to put it in. And guess what I do? I forget. <laughs> I'm going to put a little garlic in there, friends, just uh, so we can uh, uh, make men set up nice and small. That's all. I forgot. My mom used to do that all the time like that. So we're going to put it right in there, friends, and uh, we're going to mix it up. It's going to be a little vinaigrette. Then it's not going to be like uh, uh, emulsify like the French vinaigrette because we're not putting any Dijon mustard in there, okay? And uh, so it looks like it's emulsified, but it's more of a vinaigrette-like, you see? And obviously it's green because of the parsley. Almost looks like a pesto. All right, so now, friends, I'm going to test it to make sure I'm good. It's delicious. It's going to be even more delicious with a little bit of lemon juice. I have about uh, a good tablespoon and a half of lemon juice. Eh? And the lemon juice is going to make it more liquid. You see, look. You see? Much more liquid. This is perfect. I should do this for a living. This is very good. This is, I think this is gonna end up being my favorite one. Let's see. Delicious. Oh, it is so delicious. I love it when the lemon juice uh, comes through loud and clear without being too acid, because you upset it with enough fat to do it. That's fabulous. So look, good. Put the vinaigrette in here. It's gonna be very greenish. And then we're gonna take this out of there. We don't need it. We got all oh, the potatoes, friends. I got this, um, this little potatoes right there, the waxy potato. Why is, I don't know the exact name of it. I forgot the name, actually. Uh, but they're perfect for this. Cut them in little slices. Remember, when you cook the potatoes, right, uh, you want to do um, uh, put them in cold water, not in hot water. When you put them, put them all in there, just like this. Boom. Now, we're going to put some uh, uh, sun-dried tomatoes, cut in very small pieces, OK? Look, you don't have to put all the stuff I'm putting in. I just happen to have a kitchen full of stuff. So I'm putting whatever I got. Okay, no sun dried tomato would be great. Then I love salami de Genoa. You don't want it? Don't put it in. It's delicious. You know what I do? <laughs> Everything is delicious, you notice? Know I wouldn't put it in there if it wasn't delicious. I have them cut at about two eight of an inch thick. See, and I make nice little cube. Julienne and cubes. A uh, little red onion. This, uh, this, uh, this uh, potato salad is full of goodies. But Italian, they like goodies. Kalamata olive, extra for Jack. He likes it, loves the olives. <laughs> artichoke heart, ba baby artichoke heart. Look, baby artichoke heart. Cut them in quarters, cut them in half. That's how they come like this. Cut them in little pieces. You don't want to put a whole one in there. They're the marinade, they're wonderful. We're gonna mix all this. Oh, oh. Little, you know what? Before, before I, I mix the cheese, let me do this, because I don't want the cheese to just drink all the dressing, because that's what's gonna happen. If you put the cheese too soon, the cheese is gonna drink everything. Then you're gonna have a, a delicious uh, dressing cheese. See, I'm glad I didn't put it all. I always make too much vinaigrettes. I don't know what it is. But you know what the good thing is? You take this, friends. You put it in the fridge, wrap it up really good. That lasts for a long time in the fridge. Look how beautiful that is. Look, look how beautiful that is. Salt and pepper. Sometimes I forget to put salt and pepper. You know this? Yeah. I forget salt and pepper. I forget everything. 
Look at this. Is that gorgeous or what, friends? All we're going to do now, I'm going to cut a little bit of uh, uh, the basil sheet for that real quick. I like to do it at the last minute when I do my chiffonade basil. You put the big leaves. Well, I've done it a million, million times. I love it. But it has to be in very small zone. So just like this. Very small. You hardly move your fingers. So the knife cuts very thin. You see ribbon, ribbon. Chiffonades come from the word chiffon in French. And chiffon means a rag. Chop them up. You put it all in there, just like this. Don't use the knife to scrape the board like I just did. That's not good. Look, look how beautiful that is, friends. Look at that salad. It's going to be it's gorgeous. You see, it's going to be beautiful. I think I can put all the sun-dried tomato that I prepared. It was good. I can put all the onions that I have put together. Look at this. This is going to be delicious, my friends. This, to me, is a gorgeous little potato salad. Okay, it's, it's, it's beautiful. And it's got so many goodies in there. So at the last minute, we'll put a bit of Pecorino Romano, if you have it. A little bit of Parmigiano Reggiano, if you have it. No, don't go out there putting that uh, Parmesan cheese and comes in in the box, okay? Those uh, should be against the low. And voila, my friends. This is my Italian version of a delicious potato salad. All right, friends, well, here they are. You see, you can do a nice little job with the, uh, the uh, Nisua salad, organize them nice. The Italian, let me tell you, friends, is uh, mm, definitely Italian. Eh? Mm. I love it. The salami de Genoa, the basil, sun-dried tomato. Your Italian friends are going to love you. French, Niçois, you got all the flavor of a Niçois salad. Now, the French people are probably not going to approve it, but it's delicious. Vinaigrette, nice and emulsified, it's delicious. Just keep the green beans if you don't like them, but I think they add a lot. This warm German uh, uh, warm bacon dressing and warm potatoes is amazing. Mm. Oh, melts in your mouth. Friends, I hope you make them. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and please don't forget to ring the bell. Thanks for watching, friends. Wow, this was a lot of prep, but it was delicious. Let me tell you, I don't know which one I like the best. I like them all. I like them all. They're delicious. Mm.